Uh, we've done a podcast on it uh, quite some time ago last True year. Hauntings podcast. Uh, and uh, we got to research it really well. So it, it was really awesome to actually get into the castle and to mm-hmm. see it with our own eyes and to experience all of those places that we talked about within the castle. So that was yeah. really, really cool. Um, for me, it's it's a, a lot about just being in that place rather than needing to walk away at the end having some sort of personal outstanding thing happen. I mean, it would be great if yeah. it did, uh, but I kind of don't see it as a negative if we haven't had some sort of deep connection while we've been there. Well, and so my experience there was the table tipping. For one, mm-hmm. I had never seen that before, nor heard of it. Um, so it was really cool just to learn about this uh, other way of connecting to spirit. Um, and so I remember watching you guys initially do it. And then after, like, I think it was like probably 10 to 15 minutes later, you know, you guys were calling in for more energy to help with this table. So, I, you know, I put my hand on this table and it was the craziest experience that I had ever had because literally I felt that table breathing. Like you could just feel it. Like it was like taking an in and out kind of a thing. It, it, yeah, it was so wild. So could you tell me... Um, Explain to our listeners table tipping, um, how you do that, and kind of even our experience at Huska. Yeah. Okay. So table tipping is from the Victorian seance era where people would sit around a small table after supper. The men have probably had love to have a cigar and port and the of ladies course. will sit yes. around the table and um, they will invite the spirits to come in. And, and during this stage, It was the age of spiritualism, so it was very normal thing. Uh, Death was a normal part of life Mm -hmm. instead of something that was taboo that you don't talk about or you try to push away. And they would um, place their hands lightly on a table and then invite the spirits to come forward and move the table to let them know that they were there. And this is actually a form of what they call physical mediumship, where a physical item is going to move and respond to your questions, hopefully. And this is what we did at the castle. We were looking for, um, normally it's like a, I think I've got one over there. Uh, It's a a wooden table with a single pole and three legs. That's the traditional table tipping table. There was nothing like that in the castle. All the tables were actually quite heavy. But I said to Renata, you know, let's give it a crack. Energy is energy. They might be able to move it. And this was a heavy table. So, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and we we just all sat around and uh, placed our hands on the table. Now, the whole thing that comes up with uh, language, because we were in the Czech Republic, I don't speak any of that language. Mm-hmm. Uh, people ask about this all the time. I I think that the intention of what you're asking is an energy thought form and therefore can be translated in any language. Or you can invite your team, uh, your helpers from the Mm, other side mm -hmm. to come in and translate for you. But Renata spoke Polish, which was very close to the language of the Czech Republic. So she was whispering away. I thought, oh, people are going to think she's possessed. And she's saying, (laughs) (laughs) yakshamash, (laughs) yakshamash. So, um, yeah, and, and normally the, the people around the table will provide energy to the medium, and Renata was the medium in this case, and we just have to have no intention in our brain like we want the table to do this, we want the table to do that. We let the medium lead the conversation and invite it, because otherwise we've got five or six people all with their own thoughts and ideas of how they want this to go. So it's very important that one person takes control of the situation. Renata and I work together doing this sort of thing quite a bit. So we sort of bounce off each other sometimes. We're in each other's mm-hmm. heads all the time. But uh, I'm going to hand over to you to how the session went. Mm. Well, we had uh, very, very new people on it. People just like yourself that had never seen yeah. it before, uh, never done it before, uh, even though this stuff started in America. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, but you know, also we're heavy on the whole church thing. So oh, yeah, you know, yeah. after a while, they're like, "Oh <laughs> no, yeah, exactly." Um, 
So it was it was so much fun and it's one of our greatest joys when we see people, we always say that we've popped their cherry. Uh, they <laughs> they have this amazing yeah. experience where they walk away and their eyes are glazed over. And their jaws and, on the ground. And, and, and they yeah. go, and two hours later, they're still talking about it or going, I, I don't understand what's happened. I don't, <laughs> I don't get what's happened. So for us, it's this opening up of possibility and opening up of, well, what else could happen? If that's happening, what else is possible? That's the brilliance of it because, like, we don't know. We don't know the possibilities of what could happen um and it's just amazing to allow people to kind of feel and sense and that's really important at the table that you're actually feeling and sensing what is happening you're feeling that energy we got some people around the table and it was quite difficult to start it off because it was a cumbersome table it was hard to move it um or for it to daylight, start yeah which, it was I mean, in full daylight yeah. uh, it's that the the Bright light is supposed to break down the energy allegedly, but we're, I'm just under the thought of the uh, fact that I think a lot of um, deception went on in the dark and the yeah. physical seances. So yeah. uh, we like a little bit of light so people can actually see that none of us are hooking our thumbs yeah. under the table or right. doing anything. Yeah, right. but it started to move and um, it got a lot of power up and what, the, what we tried to do is to put as many people on the table while it was moving um, as possible. The, the whole idea of it wasn't to ask questions. It was to feel what was going experience on. To, yeah, so to give people that mm-hmm. were there a, a completely different and new experience. Uh, but the the brilliant thing was that when we got to the end and we said we're going to finish now because we're exhausted, we're going to finish now, um, we asked the table to put itself back to where it had always been sitting and it did it actually moved back to exactly the spot and I had no idea where the table came from (laughs) it moved back to exactly the spot where it was taken from and it stopped at that spot and we we, we just went oh my god (laughs) that was so cool (laughs) 